long while with the conference going on and it's been really, really fun. And so we're going to restart a lot of the live stuff that we used to do uh, and do it in just a much you know, more exciting and, and engaging um, way in the next couple of weeks. And I got my good friend, Dr. Eric Rindler here to uh, kick it off. And so as you and I were talking about this, we're going through the technical pieces. I'm like, this is like riding a bike. We haven't done it the live thing and haven't uh, done this in a long time. So you've just been a great friend of mine for a very long time. You love this stuff. You love education. You and I met through the Seattle Study Club. Um, you're an amazing periodontist and you're also on the cutting edge of all technology. So what's going on? How, um, first of all, okay, we're going to talk about a lot of things, but today we're going to be talking about the hidden opportunity in scheduling new patients, even post pandemic. So that's a big conversation that's been going on right now. And you even challenged me. So let me just say this. I was challenged by a lot of things I wasn't good at before the pandemic. Things that I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. And now that we're getting through the pandemic, we're getting through the other side. People have to get good at, you know, talking to patients in a different way, collecting money in an operatory, doing all these different things. And we're going to cover that in just a second. But I want people to know who you are and why we should listen today and what we're going to be talking about. So, Tell us your story and tell us about why this topic is so important that we're going to be covering today. Okay. Well, well, first of all, it's great to see you. And I've got, I actually, I've got a list of questions I want to ask you. So my hope is we sort of flip seats for a little bit today. There you go. Um, um, first of all, to you, congratulations on what you did for dentistry with the, with the COVID conference, because that's really not your core business. Um, it's, it's your core doing extra things for people. Um, but your core business is really consulting. And so I'm going to ask you a few questions that some of the people who maybe, maybe don't really know what the heck Act Dental does and what, who Kirk Barrett is. So I'll tell you who I am. Okay. Uh, I'm Eric Rindler. I was a private practice periodontist for over 20 years. And then I had this great harebrained idea that I'm going to sell my practice and go back to business school. So I went back and did an MBA at the University of Texas up in Austin, um, which, which was just fabulous. And it gave me a new lens to, to look at everything dental. And so um, after business school, I studied the dental ecosystem. I tried to look at each stakeholder within the dental ecosystem to find out what their main pain points were so we could find an opportunity to help dentistry. And, uh, and so our missions are kind of similar on how do we, how do we help this great profession and the nice thing is, you know, literally after a year and a half or so, I had an aha moment and recognized an opportunity to help everybody, all the stakeholders in the dental ecosystem. So we're going to talk about that um, uh, with the product is Schedule Widget. So um, I think everyone's going to be able to get a little bit better understanding of how that can help them in their practice. But ultimately, it's to increase engagement and get more people in the dentist. Yeah. So. So Kirk Barron, I have a question for you. So, so I've seen you on these conferences and I see ACT Dental Relief Conference. And so is what you do is just help educate dentists about clinical and um, pharmacology and all these other things? Is that your job? No. Is that what dental does? That's a leading question. Now, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> You're the best. No, like we're, we're coaches. We're, we love working uh, with dental practices all over the country, just helping them create a better practice and better life. And so when this all came together, uh, we didn't know what to do. So we froze. Uh, well, we didn't freeze. We were just, you know, caring a, a lot about a, a very noble industry that we love a lot. And I didn't know what to do. And so I rallied my team and I'm like, okay, well, education is what got us here in the first place. Um, and let's do something for these people. So as far as pharmacology, all that stuff now, be, me being a speaker, I was gone a lot. So I didn't really have any assets to bring to the table other than I had about hundred, you know, 110 speaker friends. And I'm like, one of them was Mark Hyman. One of them was Bill Robbins. One of them was Bob Marges. Um, and I just went right, Uchi, went right down the list. And I'm like, guys, hey, so what do you guys want to do? Like, we got to help this industry we love so much. And so we started the conference. I had no idea that we were going to do it at the level that we did. We, you know, the first three days, it was nine hours a day for three days. And then we went all the next week. And then um, it was wonderful. Like we learned a lot. And um, uh, we 
brought a community together. But as we have gotten through that, you know, um, it's it's been amazing, like how the community has grown. There's over 34,000 people that registered for the conference. Uh, and it still continues to grow and we'll still do a lot of it next week. And we're going to continue to bring great education. But we learned a lot of things in this environment, things that, you know, if we weren't good at them before, like I said, we're getting better at them now. And I, I can't remember who said it yesterday, but somebody said it's not about bouncing back as an industry. It's about bouncing forward. You know, dentistry has been through this, but um We've learned a lot of different concepts and we've watched people come back to thriving practices. Now, you constantly challenge me on this whole thing. And this is part of where your entrepreneurial brain comes in. But if I'm a dentist, let's say I'm a 32 year old dentist watching right now and I'm trying to get my practice up going. One of the things I need is new patients in the practice. So I want you to talk about why, you know, why we have to think about outside of the box a little bit more and on how we see new patients and how all that works. You know, um, uh, there's no shortage of patients out there. In fact, we we know from real data, less than 18% of the the population goes to the dentist. That's that's insurance patients who can go for free or fee-for-service patients, less than 18%, one-eighth, go to the dentist. And then from there, a lot of the people who want to go to the dentist we, we've made it difficult for them to go to the dentist. So if you look at corporate dentistry and you see their hours, you see the features they're doing, the things they're doing, they spent millions of dollars trying to study how to get the patients into the dental practice, okay? And one of the things that, since you've already led to it, is online scheduling. And so um, we have to make that available. We have to make that available. I've gotten pretty excited about numbers. Um, and so... So we know, I heard, I heard Sam Bukhari, who's a periodontist, talking yesterday, and he said 35% of the calls to his practice are missed during, during working hours. They're just missed. And so we, we, we need to give a tool like a sk- online scheduling to increase the lead conversion. I think dentistry is doing a pretty good job of lead generation. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I'm preparing for the course that we're going to be doing for Act Dental uh, on, on hot topics, I've talked to marketers. I've talked to to, to Zanya Winans from Golden Proportion Marketing and Sean White from Whiteboard Marketing and Dan Domain from Domain Marketing. And all of them will basically say, we can put the patients in your chair. Our job is to segment, to give you the right patients in your chair, right? Well, we can get them to, to the door. But it's the practice's job to convert them to do lead the so lead convert generation lead generations happening and our weakness is lead conversion so what are the things that we do once they get to the door right we can spend money on marketing and get the patients to show up but now it's on us to create the stickiness to get them to actually come to the practice and then once they show up to the practice to uh to want to be part of that yeah so and schedule widget fits in. Yeah. So let me ask you about that. When you look at the metrics, so you can generate leads, but again, a lot of them don't get followed up with or don't get answered. And that that's one piece. So it, it's one thing to generate new patient calls or generate interest in your practice. But the second piece is how many of those phone calls get answered. The second component of this is if you really do some data analysis of this, you're going to see that there's there's a hole in the conversion aspect of things. So if you look at them like dials is number one, how are we going to get more patients, more people generate, but then we got to answer the phone and we got to be able to convert them. And that's where some of the new technology and some of the new opportunity exists in dentistry is bypassing that and just getting them right in your practice. But I'm going to ask you like the, the clear question right away. Okay, listen, I don't want just people from the public just plugging into my schedule. Like what if, what if like all these people that are not ideal fits for me, fill it, you know, just click on my website and go there. Um, how does that work? Yeah. So, so first of all, if they're not putting themselves anywhere in the schedule, you're picking and choosing the spots to put them on. And second, your staff is still, still triaging every patient that comes in. So it's not our, our expectation that a patient schedules and there's no other communication. 
Um, you can figure out their preferred method of communication. You know they've reached out to you digitally, so perhaps you'll want to respond to them digitally. Right. But then they can go through all the phone triage that they normally do. Um, what's their chief concern? Are, are, if you're an endodontist, are they, are they, are, do they need a root canal or are they looking for you know, a filling and a cleaning? Right. But whatever the normal triage that happens, that can be about insurance, that can be explaining there's an exam fee, whatever it is. Right. Um, uh, and, it, and it's really interesting that, that, that you bring that up um, because one of the things is, is that I discounted when I was full-time private practice is the, the investing in my staff on training. I thought we were, we were doing a great job. And um, I, I heard a great quote, a great quote on one of the interviews I did. I'll give her credit, Catherine I tell Bell. And she said, um, I'm ruining the punchline because I'm going to use this for a course. But she said, um, personality and um, personality and um, social skills, social doesn't equal skills. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't, I had a great staff and I would defend my staff. In fact, you and I had a long discussion where I was defending how great my staff was because the phone receptionist personality was so great. And I didn't understand that there's a real skill set beyond being kind and being friendly that the way the initial phone call is, ha happens can affect how the eventual case treatment, case, bleh, the case acceptance happens. It has a the initial phone call, the skills of how the initial phone call is received can affect the ultimate case acceptance because that's when goodwill starts happening with the practice. Yeah, and on both sides. Well, I didn't understand it. Wait, my turn. Yeah. I didn't understand it, and I didn't know that there were real skills involved with it. And yeah. There are real skills. For sure, for sure, there's real skills. In all fairness to a team member, too, a lot of team members aren't trained, um, you know, and so they're left to their own devices or their previous training when they go into a new office and the doctor just says, go. And the team member says, go where? So I think it's critically important if you're going to hire people, you have to invest in them. You got to give them the right tools um, to be successful up there and how to convert and a clear line of sight to know whether or not they're doing a good job or a better job. Oh yeah, when I was when I was in school, I had the opportunity to do a leadership project, and I got to interview um, several CEOs of Fortune 100 companies, um, and I, I talked about several different things. But two of the guys mentioned the same point um, when I talked about sort of what's the hardest part of their job, and, and they said the hardest part of their job ever is firing somebody. And um, because it was it was an acknowledgement to themselves of as a leader their failure, right? And it was the failure to either um, put effort into hiring the right person, or to that they had the right person and they didn't train them. And so, so I think I failed, and I didn't have to fire people, but I failed in the fact that I didn't really give my staff a lot of training opportunities to become better at their job. I was head down on clinical, 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 clinical. And because I was so focused on clinical, everything will take care of itself. That was the wrong attitude. It okay. was the wrong attitude. Yeah, it is. It is. So take us through this. So once you find the right people, we get them the right training and then think a little bit better about how new patients are scheduled in the practice. Help me understand like the benefit of online scheduling why if i'm a dentist why i'd, e I'd even want to consider it now we're going to share a good friend of ours websites here website here this is dr bob Margis's website and you know he was resistant for a long time bob's an incredible dentist so tell us why we'd even want to consider you know online scheduling. so 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 if i put on my vendor hat and i go to a meeting mm -hmm. um you know most dental friends of most dental colleagues want to avoid vendors right you don't want the vendor to try to sell you his, his thing. Um, I have this great thing happen to me um, with people who are using Schedule Widget. And Bob Margis is an example of that. That I'm walking down the hall at the Restorative Academy, you know, during Chicago Midwinter. And Bob's chasing me with his phone saying, Rindler, 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 look at this. 
and he catches me and he shows me his phone and he starts scrolling through hundreds of new patients that have scheduled in his practice through Schedule Engine. Um, and so it really works. That's the thing. And it's it, our focus uh, at Schedule Widget was to remove friction and make the easiest possible user interface to get them to schedule. Mm -hmm. We know each time you have somebody go to a new page, um, there's an 85% drop off of engagement with each click, with each time you have them do more. And so we need to make it as and focus on making it as easy as possible for the patients to get into our practice. Yeah, we want it to be easy for the receptionist. We want it to be easy for everybody else. But the most important thing is making it super easy for the patient to become a patient in our practice mm -hmm. by removing the friction. Right. And so like the behaviors, a lot of times people don't want to call, they'll text, they schedule straight from there. And then does it set up a series of appointment reminders where you, they come into your schedule or not? Yeah. So the, we, we have, we, we have, we've taken dead aim on, on new patient scheduling in the practice. Most practices already have a software for uh, patient reminders. So we don't want to interfere with the, the, the processes that are already there. In fact, some of the other um, uh, uh, solutions for that are, are, are in discussions with us to add our little piece to what they're already doing. We don't really view that we have any competition in the dental ecosystem because we'll work with anybody. Our mindset is a collaborative economy tool. Mm -hmm. All we want to do is make it as soon as the patient wants to schedule, whether they're on their website or I suspect we'll talk about it, if they're on the Act Dental University website, if a patient happens to get to that website because the amount of volume that's happening in Act Dental University, patients are going to end up there for one reason or another. Or if it's an implant company or implant concierge or any of our market partners that has a Find a Dentist tool, our schedule widget isn't just on your website, but it's on all of these other market partners pages too. So schedule with it allows patients to get to your practice from multiple places. Okay. So tell, you're tell us how it works yeah. though. So when you see, so, so when you look at schedule widget, like tell me exactly how it works. Cause I would love to know. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to make a commercial out of this. I just get excited. So if somebody goes to the act dental university uh, website, you y'all are adding a button that says find a dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, so this is the invitation that's been created that will allow dentists. First, we want to populate it with the dentist. Mm -hmm. So they'll go there and it basically says, Hey, you guys, um, there people turn to us because we're a trusted source and we want to put patients in your practice. And so they can, they can go to act dental university patients can, and they'll be able to schedule directly from there. And if they, they can see a list, but a list introduces friction because if all it is is a list with my phone number or my website, I've got to click. And what happens when I click from your website to my website? 85% of the people leave. So we've got the button right there on your website that they can request an appointment. Or if I'm making appointments available, they can schedule directly in my practice mm -hmm. from that button right there in as little as one click. Pretty amazing, actually. Okay, so um, let me let me make a uh, another point. You don't have to allow them to actually schedule in your practice. If all you want to do is allow them to request an appointment, that's still good. That's still removing friction, and it makes your practices first contact with them an outgoing call, which is much different than an incoming call because your practice has more conversation of the way the the conversation goes. Right. Now, you know this. I was extremely resistant to this at the beginning. Like, you're like, come on. And then I started watching all my buddies and people that are clients of ours and members of the Seattle Study Club saying, look, I just plugged it in. I'm just telling you it's working. And I even asked Bill Robbins point blank in a live show. I'm like, give it to me straight. Is this working for you? And he's like, it is working for me. People show up in my schedule, not to the degree of Josh Austin, but so when you look at some of the notable names in dentistry, you got Bill Robbins, you got Josh Austin, you've got other big names like Bob Marr, just like, give us some perspective. How much does this cost? Because a lot of us, well, look, 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 no, no, no. And let me just say this. 
I've heard this before. I get all the marketing. I get all these new patients. I get pamphlets. I get, you know, FedEx boxes. I even signed up for a service that was a phone for new patients. Like I've heard it all. Why? How much does this cost? And am I even going to get new patients from it? Like answer that question. So, so here's the thing. When I practiced full time, it used to drive me bonkers because everybody was trying to make a buck on my back as the dentist. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, so we've created a freemium model. So we'll give every dentist schedule widget for free. It's free. It's my contribution to dentistry. Nothing we believe in it, though. Nothing is free. And they're, they're our customers, our customers are organizations like Act Dental University right. and the implant companies and the insurance companies. Anybody else who understands that the more patients they put into dentistry, the better it is for dentistry. And if dentistry grows, then the implant market grows, the money they spend on continuing education grows. And so instead of just the dentist being the only person trying to pull patients into their practice, We've now got the rest of the dental ecosystem. All the other stakeholders have a have a platform to try to help push patients into the dental practices. Now, it's free, but if the doctor, um, several of our colleagues have said, I'd like to be able to customize it like this. So if you want some customization features, we have a premium version, which is uh, inexpensive. It's $39.95 a month, right? But you don't have to do that. If you want the free version, that's okay. Um, we're also coming out with our, our, our integration version, which will be a little more expensive, but not significantly more expensive, depending on which software you're using. But, but there's no reason on earth for a dentist not to sign up um, tomorrow for free. It's a good thing for dentistry, and it's a good thing for your practice. Well, okay, so... How, how, long, how long can I expect before I see a new patient? Okay. So when someone signs up, when someone signs up, first of all, sign up takes about 90 seconds. Um, there's not much more to that. You put, ask uh, your name, phone number, email. You need to put an address and a provider's name. If you have multiple providers, you can add those later. Multiple locations, you can provide them later. But just hitting the little step one right there that says, Register, that should take about 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, then you'll send the code to the webmaster who can cut and paste it onto your website um, if you want to add it to your website. Even if you don't want to add it to your website, sign up so you can be on the Act Dental University website. Okay? So good, you just sign up and you're on everybody else's website. Better, you get it on your website. And the best way is you actually start making appointments available. But a lot of people just use it as to request an appointment. Removing friction, letting patients get contact with your practice. Um, so 90 seconds, it's free. Your webmaster simply cuts and pastes it. Um, we've tried to do all the heavy lifting. The thing that drives us is user interface, making it as easy as possible for everyone to use it. Because think about it. We want to grow dentistry. And that's that's how that's how we win. Cool. So unlike, it's not unlike. It's not unlike my friend Kirk Barrett, who, um, who, who, wait, Kirk. So how many, I, I watched so much of the, the, the act re relief thing. And, um, and how are you making money on that program? <laughs> right. So sometimes people do things just because it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, what's really exciting for you is that good deed has led to Act Dental University. Um, most people I know have signed up for it. I watched today, Andrea Ritchie. It's fantastic. Blew my mind to see how good dentistry can be. So oh. let me ask you, if I've been going to the Relief Conference and now I want to become a member of Act Dental University, how do I do that? And what are the benefits of me doing Act Dental University? Oh, gosh. Well, first of all, um, it's growing like crazy. So as far as the education goes, we just thought we'd put together a format where every Friday um, we bring in another amazing speaker and have them have the opportunity just to share some great thoughts. So it's 90 minutes presentation style. Then there's 30 minutes Q and a, um, and this even today went way over um, on the, on the Q and a aspect of things. Cause people have so many great questions. 
Uh, also, the recordings for those speakers that were willing and wanted to be a part of this, those recordings also go back there. And the reason we did that was a lot of those people, again, are all of our friends and their speakers. So everybody donated their time to this, you know, to keep this great industry together. Uh, but they also have to go back and make a living. So we put it back in a place where people could just be part of a great community. And again, that's part of what today is all about is just we're just going to be super committed. Obviously, you're a great friend of mine and you've been with me from the beginning. Actually, this is so funny. Do you remember when you and I had beers in San Antonio before any of this started? You were the first person on a napkin. I said, you know what? I think the future is going to be podcasting. It's going to be like education. It's going to be a show. It's going to be something. And you're like, I don't even know what that means. And so um, that's a lot of where this this thing came from. And But more, more so than anything, it's about community. It's about bringing great ideas together. It's about sharing those ideas. It's, a watch, it's watching the noble industry we love so much grow and connect. And that's always been our favorite part. So when you ask me the question, are you making any money doing the conference? Heck no, that wasn't our goal. Our goal is to, you know, education again brought us through it. And so today, you know, I love you as a friend, and I always know that you you bring great stuff to the community. And I think Schedule Widget, as resistant as I was to it, um, is a great i is it's a great concept. It's a great product, and and uh, as as we've already learned from so many people in the community. So you're asking me a question, and I'm asking you a question back. And if you're struggling with your practice, this is a great time. We're always here to help you in any sense. So. so so really and truly, we're going to come back to Schedule Widget because what I think you did with Act, De, um, Act Dental University and what you're doing with the Find a Dentist tool that you're about to tell people about is is awesome, okay? Um, I'll, I'll mention that and then I'm going to ask you a question because I really have questions about Act. So so when, when you guys talk to me about the, the Find a Dentist tool, the conversation is like this. Y'all did this good deed for dentistry, mm -hmm. right? Right. So now you, and it's not, you're not competing with Seattle Study Club. You're bringing Seattle Study Club people to all of us. Mm -hmm. You're not competing with Boys or Panky or LVI or anybody. This is a place that I get to learn from all the people who are the best in the world. And I did it for free for all this time. And now I can do it through Act Dental University going forward, which is unbelievably cheap. And then you add features like this with the Find a Dentist tool so that you can actually start getting media and promoting the dentist who are who took this time to invest in themselves and say, hey, look at this group of guys who when they were out of their offices, they didn't just sit there and wait. They became better clinicians. They invested their time. They learned about clinical stuff, pharmacology, um, ergonomics. They learned all these things that are making it better for the patients and the doctors. And I, I just love that. And I, I know that spreading the word to let people know that dentists did something so impactful for the patients is going to be powerful. And having that funnel through the, the Find a Dentist tool is awesome. Okay, now here's my question. Because right. it's like two people chasing squirrels. So ACT, ACT, and I've known you for a long time, but I thought it was like you and maybe a receptionist. But yeah. ACT is huge. How many people, how many people are part of ACT? Um, how many people are actual consultants with ACT? And um, and then you've got this fabulous support that, that we've dealt with on the integrating the Find a Dentist tool into ACT, which is, which which are second to none. And so it turns out that you're a breeding ground for like the best and brightest to go into dentistry. So first tell me, how big is ACT? How many consultants work for ACT? And who are they? Uh, so <laughs> as you guys are noticing, these are two people talking that are expressive. You know, we're not introverts at all. But my team is amazing. I will just say that. So we have six coaches. Uh, Leanne Fate is the director of coaching. So and our whole philosophy has just been find the best people anywhere. So um, what's Leanne. that? What? Go back. You, Leanne is the director of what? She's the director of coaching. So she leads our coaches. We also and have you, LA. Is she LA or LF or LP? She is, she is LA. So um, we have Adriana Booth. We've got Christina Byrne. We've got 
Angela Heffman, we've got Dina Melgit, we have uh, Jenny Poulos, um, and then we have an incredible support team of great people. Uh, Tiffany Esterline, also uh, Barb James. I couldn't be more blessed to have such a great team. And then we also have a brand new um, group of what we call them the Jedi interns. And these are kids that have been working for us over the summer. And uh, that's been actually pretty fun. So we, you know, we're, we're a team just committed to helping people create a better practice and better life. So if you're struggling making more money, if you're struggling to get back on your feet as far as practice growth, the culture, the time aspect of things, usually we find there's three big issues in every dental practice. They either struggle with financials, trying to make it work, you know, getting rid of some of the debt. They struggle with the schedule. How do we put that all together and have a better practice and a better life? And then lastly, they struggle with the overall culture. And you know that's the most important piece because when you get a great team, you have a great, great practice and a great life. And so putting all those, it's kind of the trifecta of having a great practice, a great life. So that's what we do. At Dental University was something that just came out of this whole pandemic experience. And we just, it was just a great time to do it and create a, a unique platform. It, within it, we also have ACT Academy, which is hundreds and hundreds of videos um, just on all the different business aspects of it and best practices within dentistry. So it's pretty easy to get involved. You can get, get involved on the, you know, do it yourself side. If you need help with your practice, we're always here to, to help listen and learn. Um, and then lastly, we're going to continuously add great tools and great features that we truly believe in. And today is a great example of that, which is Schedule Widget, only because I know it works. And um, within ActU, as we add more and more things, we've added the Global Diagnosis Program, which is fantastic with a, a dear friend of ours, um, Dr. Bill Robbins and Dr. Jim. Global Diagnosis Program. What's that? What is the global diagnosis program? Oh my gosh, it's it's Jim, it's it's Bill Robbins and Jill, uh, Jim Otten's uh, incredible contribution to dentistry. It's a study club where they meet every single week with members. There's over 155 people that are part of it, and their goal is just to transform them as great thinkers in dentistry. How they think about treatment planning, how they treat, how they take care of each other, take care of their teams. Um, and find predictable results in dentistry. So that's one thing. Now we can go to, through every single feature of that. But that's Don't talk about that. I've known Bill Roberts for a long time, right? Right. And I've never known Bill to have more enthusiasm about anything other than fly fishing yeah. than he's having with Act Dental University and then the, the Global Diagnosis um, Study Club online through Act Dental University. Yeah. I mean, the engagement... And the real learning that's going on, it's just through the roof. Okay. All right. So. So. I love that. I love that act that, that you have your, your company that helps dentists, but you can only touch so many of the practices. Yeah. But what you're doing with the, with the other side now, with Act Dental University, I mean, and that's, you know, like Andrea Ritchie, I don't know how people know who he is. He's the best in the world at what he does. Mm -hmm. And and if you can spend an hour and a half with the best in the world, and I love these guys are professionals. They start on time and they end their lecture exactly on time. And then they'll take questions and answers forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it's just so it's and and it really seems my guess is there's been some coaching. So you can show people how good it can be, but also show them how they can do it. So it's real learning going on. For sure. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Well, we're on the, we're committed on this journey. You know, um, every single week we're going to add a little bit more energy uh, and a lot more excitement and great education as the weeks go by just to, you know, give dentists an opportunity to have a better practice and better life. This industry is amazing. It's seen downturns. It's we've seen it all. And everyone knows we're going to come back stronger. But a big piece of this is just how we think. You know, the problem isn't often the problem. It's how we think about the problem. And that's what we get most excited about is just education. I'm a CE junkie. I'm a freak. I'm a weirdo. I could, I, my, my wife thinks I'm so weird with this because I could be in CE all day long, five days a week and enjoy every single moment of it. But what's even more special about learning and stretching how you think it's the people that you meet. And while we can't be together, 
Um, now is a great opportunity just to say, hey, look, how do we, even when we're apart, how do we stay together? So again, like you're my friend and I love all these questions. And uh, I like talking more about you, you know, but I I love talking about all these things. And, and this is, a, you, you're, you're here because you were here for me in the beginning. Um, when we started this whole thing, you were the first person that I told about podcasting uh, and the show, and it, it also developed into the new thing. And then you'll always be here with me as we look forward to the future on, uh, on other things. Our wives have become good friends. It's just fun. So my favorite thing was we, we, we met with La Mancion hotel grabbing a beer and you said, all right, there, this was about five years ago. There's this new product. It's called zoom. We ought to probably buy stock in it. <laughs> that was what you said. And I was like, yeah, I'm not taking stock advice from Kirk Barrett. No. But uh, I probably yeah. should. Did you? No, I didn't, I didn't even take my own advice on that one because I still I, I'm still struggling with how to use it. So I, I didn't get my own brain on it, but no, it's yeah. good. Uh, so we'll wrap up today. What's that? Let's compete for this the microphone time. Hey, let me make one other other question, one other comment about Act Dental University master's program, master classes. Mm -hmm. the, the cool thing is, is most of the speakers on there aren't the same old person we've all heard a thousand times. Right. I mean, this, it, because you're a trusted source, um, you're a trusted source and Bill and Bob and your relationships, we're getting the people who are the best in the world and we've never heard of them. Right. Um, I know, I know these guys, but I know Nadir Sharifi. I mean, but if people hadn't seen Nadir, Nadir, they have to. If they didn't know Andrea Ripke, and some of the ones that are coming up that, you know, we all go see the big names every time. We know that they're, we know that we know them. But now because the trusted platform, you're not putting anybody on there who isn't vetted and who isn't one of the best in the world at what they do. Right. It's really, it's a, it's a, and it's an hour and a half. So it's, it's super valuable. Yeah. And the lineup. Uh, the lineup's incredible in the next couple of weeks. You got Dr. Scott McLean. Um, we also have um, Dr. Mark Hyman's going to show his very best stuff on July 3rd. And then the list goes on and on. We're actually booked through September. So it's pretty darn exciting with the number of people that we have. So make sure you join us over there uh, and keep tuning in. Okay. I have one other thing I'm going to say. Do we have time Wait. for just another more? We, um, yeah, absolutely. We, we there's talk no program behind this. So like, there's no time, there's no what, you know, no nothing. Okay. We talked about the term lanya. Yes. You Tell us what that is. Like spell that for me. Oh, let's well, don't see. Worry about it. Don't tell, don't worry about it. So what is lanya is it's spelled L-A-G-N-I-A-P-P-E. Okay. Lanyap. And and lanyap is is my my one of my favorite words because it's a Cajun word. It's not, not a French word. It's not Spanish. It's it's Cajun and a uh, um and just kind of kind of a mix of everything. But it's um it's a little something extra, and I, it, and I really think it encaptures your spirit, your culture of doing more than what's expected. Um and 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 Bill Robbins who's involved with with um, with De Act Dental University and Bob Marges. That's the kind of thing that that, that word lanyap is consistent with all of y'all's core value of always doing more. And and I love the fact that so you did the Act Dental University. Mm -hmm. You you already uh, you it's convert it's become Act Dental University, right. but you did the relief con concert conference. But it wasn't enough. You're always looking for other things to do. And now that you realize that you had all these dentists together, create, adding the find a dentist tool so that you can help hopefully put, give those doctors patience. So you're giving them knowledge. And then we'll start putting patients in their chairs also, potentially. That's a big deal. So that you're adding a find a dentist tool on your page, even though it's inconvenient for you, there's expense, there's all these things. It's you're always doing a little bit extra to help the dentist that you're that you work with, that you're friends with. So the words lanyap, and um, if people don't know it, they should. And I think um, you, you could you could have it put on your forehead because you're the guy. You're always doing more. We can we we always, you always deliver more than we ever expect. Oh, I appreciate. That. I carry a rock. I carry a rock in my pocket when I lecture. 
It's what not, does it say? It's not about you. It's not about me. I have a whole bunch of them and I gave them away. Actually, I got it from a great speaking coach. Um, just to remind us all that like, we're not here for us. We're here for others. So it's good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. All right. So let's wrap it up because it's Friday afternoon. You show us how do we find, um, you know, find a dentist tool. Now we, we did put it, uh, on the act dental you, uh, website is one of the great, you know, benefits and features. So just tell us a little bit about how it works and then. Okay. So everybody who attended the COVID conference is going to receive an email from act Dental university that has the ability to be listed on your find a dentist tool. So, so if you don't get that email, go into your spam, dig it out and, and make sure you get it. Okay. Um, there will also be some social media posts and things like that. But if you were at the act um, relief conference, then make sure you're on the finder tool. So you get this added benefit. Um, so the first thing is to sign up. So there'll be a link that says sign up, sign up. If you choose to add the, the schedule widget to your website, it's yeah. a great idea. No downside. But um, and then from there, there's three videos that take not, um, three minutes each to watch and you'll be a master and, or go to schedulewidget.com. If, if you go to schedulewidget.com, make sure you put act dental in your um, in your in the promo code or how did you hear about us box so we can link you to the act find a tool find a dentist tool. Mm -hmm. And if you're already a member of the um, Act Dental University, um, you're getting a premium upgrade to the Schedule Widget Plus to the end of the year also. So there's no downside. And in fact, I think it pretty much offsets the cost of being a member of Act Dental University. So join Act Dental University and get the premium version of Schedule Widget, uh, what we call Schedule Widget Plus for free. Cool. All right. Cool. Schedule widget. It's a good thing. Yeah. And so we'll post this in um, the show notes here that are associated with the video, but you'll be able to see all of this and you can sign up. And if you have any questions, you can, I'm sure you could probably always reach out to bar, just Bill Robbins or Josh Austin. They're big fans of it. And um, they can give you a little bit more perspective on how all that works. So buddy, I really appreciate everything today. Thank you so much for being on here. Move, move, move over. Oh, move, you can see my wife. She's 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 looking for something. Look at that. Sarah, say hi. <laughs> there, so, so I thought I at first I thought I was so, running behind so funny because like the kids are coming in, they're like, I gotta grab something out of the drawer. He's live. What do I do? So you call her out. So I see her collect. I, I can't believe you saw that. That's hilarious. That's that's that was the best part of the whole program. Oh, that's funny. Kurt, you're the best. You give me great energy and you motivate, you motivate so many of us. And I think there's probably, um, you know, 30,000 dentists who would like to get on this, this, this to simply say thank you because um, what, what you did sort of gave us uh, positive energy over the last few months. So thank you. Well, I got energy back from it. And uh, big hugs. We'll continue to bring you guys, bring uh, great resources, great education, just from people we love. Again, to just keep serving a very, very noble industry. So need new patients, check out Schedule Widget. You need help with your practice, call Act Dental. And if you just want to join us and have some great education uh, from the best educators in the world in dentistry, join us over at Act Dental U and you will have a great time. No question. Uh, so next week. We launch a whole bunch of new exciting things. So thanks for helping me kick this, uh, you know, getting the getting the cobwebs off the live stuff. Uh, and we'll continue to keep doing like I'll keep you guys. You know, I'll hold back some of our secrets, but we've got some really cool guests and some really exciting things on the horizon. And uh, we'll keep you up to date as to how all that works. But until then, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and keep watching as we'll provide great stuff for a very exciting future. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Peace out, brother. Thank you so much. Do we get sign off music? No, I don't have that yet. I'll have that maybe next week. All right. You're the best, brother. Have a good night. Talk to you. Ciao.